Welcome again, everyone. Jerry's Old Guy Review with a little bit of driving. And we're going to talk about something today. Let me just get comfortable. So, I gave you a little tidbit on this video coming up. This is the Easy RC Triton. Now, those of you that may be into FMS, you'd be hard pressed to see the differences between this truck and FMS's. Now, I have had this truck now for probably a month. And I have been driving it outside. I got it for the purpose of inside wintertime crawling course with that. So, oh, I scuffed that up. So, I don't want to spend another 150 bucks when I'm not quite in love with the Traxxas. TRXM, not totally in love with it, but what's that? You know, I like the hard body. It's got some good features, but meanwhile, for $80, I picked up the Triton. So now the battery is pretty in, unimpressive. What? Let me see here. What was that? 300. It's only a 350 milliamp. It runs. It runs like crazy. You know, for those of you who weren't familiar with them, you know the little FMS style trucks, which, you know, they've been leading the pack. And of course, once I bought this, they came out with some crazy new rigs that I just have to have. But meanwhile, I'm not going to give up on this little Triton. You know, the radio is just like a Walmart special. And I don't know if it's the radio or... The electronic speed control in here, but the steering is really finicky. Meanwhile, you know, it's got a four link. It's got, uh, I would say the motor is a wee bit underpowered. Um, you know, I've been hard pressed to find any metal on it. There's a couple of little pieces, but most everything on it is plastic. But Meanwhile, I had to pull off one of the tires. God help you if you have to pull off the tire. First of all, you'll have to use one of the L branches on your tire tool. But, I mean, this is just microscopic. So the pin that are on these, it does have a hex on it that you pop off. And it had a pin like... 10 scales and bigger normally do. But this little sucker, microscopic, and of course, dropped it. But the the shocks on it, you know, there we go, friction shocks, took one off. Amazingly built, it wouldn't have taken much for them to make it an oil fill. So, being my one of my buddies has the FMS version of the FJ Cruiser and I am hard pressed to see the difference in them except for the name branding on them you know they've got their own name brand tires on it for easy RC this is not licensed like the FMS one is but Oh, I never noticed. That's hilarious. That's a fake designed Warren winch bo control box, even though there's no fake winch on there. But it has. Oh, did I have? Let me let me do this really quick because this is what annoys most people with these trucks, other than they're microscopic. 
When you drive, the lights come on. They go off. Reverse lights don't come on when you drive, only when you back up. But it's got the dreaded turn signal. Only on the front. Hmm. But there it was. Pretty smooth. But it does, under hard turning, they do catch the fenders. What the heck? Oh, you know what? This must have a cover. Whoa, am I missing something? Wait a minute, I'm investigating. Huh. So it looks like I'm missing a piece. It must be a cover on the cover? Because it looks like it pushes in, I don't know. I did take it out. It's been doing some crawling. I don't see. Well, I'll have to go out and retrace my steps. But this little truck, I mean, that is annoying. And you can hear the body when it drives. But for somebody that wants to start off on the cheap, I mean, with the success of 18 scales lately, I'm wondering when they're going to start making aftermarket shocks for them. I haven't seen any yet, but I'll keep my eyes open for them. Meanwhile, this so far, you know, normally I give you battery pack counts, oh, but I have not counted the batteries because generally I have to sneak out with these. I don't know what it is about 110 or 118 scales, but my girls hate them. And it, they just make them mad. So, as of a month long journey with this truck, it doesn't crawl very bad either. But I want to tear it all down. I want to see because, as usual, the Chinese companies, this is it. That's the owner's book. The features list on the box, injected molded hard body, functional hood, scale interior features, that is something I... Now, it does not have a full interior in it, but it has enough of an interior where you look through the windows, you don't see any of the internals of the truck, you don't see anything other than some black molded lumps, you know, for the seats, for the rear storage bin, you know, not a full scale interior, but meanwhile, when you look through the windows, you just don't see all the open big gaps. I like that. Rhino bumper kit and roof rack, high traction uh, MT tire with 1.0 inch internal beadlock wheels like they do have beadlock so you can swap the wheels for other 118 scales all functional light control system realistic ring and pinion high torque transmission uh, 7.4 2s lipo battery 30 minute runtime I could believe that chassis mounted servo Tune coil shocks, 2.4 radio system. But, you know, it's a nice little rig. So if you want to get something to run through the winter, you know, I would, they're still on sale at A-Main for 89 bucks. I would go for this first, if you're on the fence, before I jump into the $100, $150 market. And if that doesn't bother you, and you already have 118 scales, get one anyways. So, I apologize that I don't get to show a lot of stuff, but my normal bench is full of the CJ build. So, this is a quick one. 
Thanks for watching. Let me know if your guys' opinions. Like and subscribe. Hit the like button. Talk to you later.